Welcome to this introduction to using the collaborative tool Trello. When you first open a board, a new board, this is what you'll see. There is the entire screen, which is called a board, and on the board are columns called lists. The default has a to-do list, a doing list, and a done list, and little else, so most people don't recognize the great value in using Trello. You create on each list cards by clicking add a card. This is a card I've already added. That, so this is what a card looks like. What you can see when you first open a board is called the front of the card. If you click on a card, you can see what is known as the back of the card. This allows you to add a ton of information to each card while keeping what's on the board easy to read. If you click on the title of the card, you can edit this. This cannot have a hot clickable link. But if you edit the card description, here you can add a link that can be directly clicked to get to whatever you added. This is where you put your most important notes. Click Save. If you forget to save, you just click on the Edit the Card Description. It will have saved it for you, and so you can click Save to make it visible. You can add comments down below. I advise putting the less important things in as activities, but the things you want to make sure everyone sees in as the description. Each card can have labels. It can be assigned to specific members. You can add checklists, due dates, and attach files, move them, copy them, and archive them. We'll explain all that in detail later. So this is what a basic card looks like. The only things you have to remember is the whole thing is a board. Each column is a list. On the lists are cards. This is the front of the card. That's the back of the card. Now you can move around within Trello. If you click on the word Trello, you'll go out and see all of the boards that you have access to. If you want to see only the boards within an organization, you can click on Blogger Collaboration, for example, and you can see all the boards in this organization. So if we click on Blogger Resources, this is the most important board that I give access for all bloggers. On this board is everything a blogger needs. On the left column, this first list is the list of what the board is for and what you need to do on that board. So this is the board for best practices and solutions for blogging and social media. If you have a particular tool you use, we ask you to add your avatar. As you can see on Viral Content Buzz, we have many people's avatars. Then it tells you if you have relevant posts or how-to videos for the tools, you can add it on the back of the card. And then we usually have some general purpose posts in this first left column just to get you started. Okay, so on this board there are many lists. You can only see a few of them, but you can scroll to the right and you'll be able to see many more. So we have social media solutions, we have blog outreach solutions, we have information about Google Author Rank, how to make money, how to promote blog posts, text editors, list building, email marketing, blogging solutions, best WordPress themes, how to check if your site is mobile responsive, how to tell if your site stays online or not, page load testing, WordPress tips, WordPress plugins, a lot of different plugins with different lists for each type of plugin. We have domain registrars, recommended, not recommended, and why, hosting companies, Cloudflare and other cloud services like Max CDN, image sources, these are posts that tell you how to use images in your, in your content, graphics tools, video solutions, commenting systems, contact forms, giveaway solutions, hardware, podcasting, bookmarking sites, Skype tips. And so everything that a blogger might need is all on this one board. And that's what the board is for. Now you can click on each tool. If you don't know what they are or if you want to get more information, you click on a tool. This is the, t the card for Viral Content Buzz. The, this card tells you what that, what that tool does. It has a link to the tool. It has some reviews of that tool. If you had a review of Viral Content Buzz, you could add it here. If you use that tool, you can assign and click on yourself. Now, I have many more people because I'm the admin of this board. So the check marks indicate who is on this card. If I knew someone else used Viral Content Buzz, I could actually check them or they can check themselves. The labels are different on every board. On this board, the labels green means you have to pay for it 
and yellow means there's a free version available. On Viral Content Buzz, they have both. And so you can look, say that you have a very tight budget and you don't know that you can afford any new tools, you can easily see by the yellow bar which ones are free versus which ones are paid. And so that's what a board is for. If you go to Blogger Collaboration, the other primary board that everyone has access to is Collaborators. Collaborators board is where you can quickly see who is in the group, the people that have added themselves, the people that I have added. So the, again, the left column tells you the purpose of the board and what to do on it. Then we have paid opportunities. If I have a paid opportunity, I'll post it on this board. I'll sometimes click on different people's avatars so that they can see, um, as you can tell, my mouse is giving me fits, um, click different people's avatars. I clicked on them to see if they wanted to take part in this paid opportunity. Then unpaid opportunities are things like someone has a blog, they're looking for a regular blogger. Then we have blogs by type. We have blogging tips, marketing blogs, small business blogs. Every single niche that there is, we have a board for it. You can click on any any of the blogs under each board, like on marketing blogs, for example, we have some other additional information. It's growmap.com, Moz rank number, page rank number, domain authority, social media marketing, SEO, internet marketing, small business, post joint. These are all tips so that you can tell without even clicking on the card whether a card is relevant to you. On this board, these are the labels. Once paid ops means you, you're interested in knowing if we're paying bloggers to write about something. Paid writer means you want to be paid to write for someone else. Consultants and VAs, a consultant is someone like me who gives someone advice. A VA is someone who actually does work for someone. And so if you're a VA, you want to be listed on this board. A giveaway blog is a blog that actually does giveaways on a regular basis, not a blog that does an occasional giveaway here or there. Same thing with product review blogs. If you review blogs at, on a regular basis, you want to check this. You just click on it and it turns a little check mark on. I'm not one, so I don't click that. Um, blog outreach is someone that wants to be involved when we're doing a major project, writing on several different blogs, sometimes up to 20 or more blogs. And so if you're not sure about any of these, you can ask me. The best way to do that is on Skype. Since this is my card, you can see that I have my contact details on here. That's my Twitter username. This is my email. This is my Skype username. I encourage bloggers to add their blog to the section that pertains to them. Turn on the labels that to pertain to them. And if you have questions, go to Skype, look for GrowMap, and just ask me, and I will help you. And so I ask you to assign your avatar to your card. As you can see, this one has my avatar on it. Um, the green dot means that I am on Trello and I'm logged in. The arrows mean that I am the admin of this board. If I don't do anything for a while in Trello but I'm still logged in, this will turn yellow to indicate that I have been there lately but I'm not currently active. If it's gray, that means I have an account but I'm not logged in right now. And so this is some of the basics. Um, we have so much more to tell you but this will get you started. I just want people to know why they should get involved. I want you to join our collaboration, get into our blogger, blogger mastermind Skype group, and get access to our blogger collaboration. You can quickly see who is involved. Um, you can see what kind of blogs they have. Sometimes someone has more than one blog or they write for other blogs. By adding themselves to these lists, you can see what, what other bloggers in our group have blogging tips related blogs? What other bloggers in our group have marketing type blogs or small business type blogs or they're mom bloggers? These, these are very good reasons to join our collaboration. You can get access to these other boards. I'll briefly go out and show you. I have authors on group blogs, blogger resources, bloggers by location is new. That's not very populated yet. We have lists of blogs that pay for posts, blogs that accept guest posts. We have, these are other types of blogs. I didn't want the one board to get too full, so it, if I think there's gonna be a lot of bloggers involved, wedding related, for example, I created a new board for that. So I encourage you to contact GrowMap. Just go to Skype, which is free to use. Look for GrowMap, add me, and tell me that you'd like into our collaboration.